Taipei Mayor Le Koenje convened a meeting of city government department head appointees today to sign a convention on clean and transparent government. Ke stressed he won't tolerate dishonesty or deception amongst his administrative team. At the same time, Ke also pledged strong support for all of his incoming municipal directors and commissioners. Prior to taking office this Thursday, Taipei Mayor Le Koenje asked everyone to make a pledge. Every one of you can lie to me once. What does this mean? It means I will trust you until I catch you lying, and then you are finished. Ke urged his leadership to tell the truth, while at the same time imploring them to be courageous in their work. I pledge to everyone that when I am the leader and public opinion is against us, I won't abandon you to protect larger interests or cut off our relationship. Ke also addressed controversy over the appointment of Ni Zhonghua, was appointed head of the Department of Cultural Affairs. Some members of the selection committee allege Ni's appointment was prearranged. At the time, I thought selecting Ni Zhonghua would be appropriate because of the 2016 World Design Capital and the 2017 Summer World University Games in Taipei. Therefore, I favored someone with more business experience. I've thought about giving a call to the selection committee to promote harmony, but I'm still angry, so I didn't make the call. Another personnel dispute involves Department of Legal Affairs Director Designate Yang Fang Ling, who is the wife of Ke's campaign director Yao Li Ming. Some believe this appointment was made to reward Yao for his work on the campaign. If we are discussing salary as a reason for joining this team, I would earn just 20,000 NT dollars more than my pension, so I don't think anyone would take this job simply as a reward. While Ke's team prepares to take office, a number of appointments still need to be completed. Many are eager to see how Ke's new municipal leadership will fare.